Okay, welcome back to the show. My name is Adam and this is another episode of The Studio. Today's part two of my two videos about the Marimba One educational series. Today we're going to be looking at this four and a third octave Paduk Marimba. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Bradley Crowley, Sangshun Han, Scott Rader, Greg Harris, Dean P. Newberger, and Che Carol Gilliland. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Denise Fitzgerald. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. If you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash unheard, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show. Once again, hope you've been well, hope you've been staying safe. Yes, today we are looking at marimbas. If you haven't already watched the part one video, that was the little three octave practice marimba. You can check out that episode over here. I explained the educational series in more detail in that video and you get a little bit of context as to why all of this is happening. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Adam and I make videos about all kinds of percussion things. You can hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads as I make new episodes every single week. And finally, if you haven't already joined our Discord, it's at Adam tambercussion.com forward slash discord so yes welcome to another video where we talk about gear on this show like i haven't really done many gear reviews this year because of various reasons one of them is the situation around the world and because the studio is getting busier in other areas and i'm also writing a whole bunch of pieces at the moment i haven't had as much time to make big videos like this one but i made an exception for my friends at marimba one who are not sponsoring this video and i'm not a marimba one artist even though they should totally consider it. But as I said in the previous video, they've been very kind and sent two of their brand new educational series instruments to the studio. One of them was this three octave instrument in the previous episode, and the other one, a four and a third octave Paduk marimba. Paduk. I can already hear the screaming in the street. So at first when I heard that Marimba One was making a four and a third Paduk marimba, this is a company that hasn't made Paduk instruments ever before, I was pretty surprised, but then I thought about it. Actually, 4 and a third Paduk Marimbas are one of the most popular, most requested models from any brand. When you think about students who are in you know, secondary school or early university, I think most of them get 4 and a third Paduk instruments just because rosewood is really expensive and it's also just becoming more and more limited now. And as I said in the previous video, I have played a lot of Paduk instruments, both low tier and high tier ones. Here's a video that I've done on a really tiny Paduk instrument and here's a video that I've done on a massive Paduk instrument. It's really interesting. I like to think of Paduk instruments as like the Toyota Prius of marimbas. They're kind of like a bridge between fossil fuel rosewood instruments and you know clean, green, synthetic EVs. <laughs> More on that later, let's talk about this marimba first. The Marimba One Educational Series 4 and a third octave. The price, about 3,499 US dollars, which is a little bit higher than some other 4 and a third octave Paduk instruments. But keep in mind, this instrument is a full size 4 and a third octave. I know that sounds really weird, but what that means is the bars are fully graduated and they are actually the same size as the ones on the bigger models, like the Izzy and the Wave. So if you ever wanted to do something crazy, like change the bar, over, you could totally do it. <laughs> and I believe they actually offered this educational frame in either Paduk or Rosewood. So if you wanted to go down that route, that's fine too. And also the resonators are the same size as the Easy resonators. And I didn't believe it at first, but I actually took a closer look when I had both instruments here in Perth and yeah, they're actually the same. It's pretty much the same deal as the three octave. You get the instrument, you get the dust cover made out of the same ripstop material that I'm always glossing about, and also a pair of round sound mallets for free. So that's pretty good deal. I don't think it's that expensive. And I think a couple of my students have actually just bought one at the time of filming this video. So yeah, it's totally an affordable package. And I'm kind of glad because the previous four and a third instrument from Room One, the Wave, it was really nice, but it's definitely suited to a higher market because the price is just a little bit higher for students that are just starting out. So I think this hits a really good spot in the market. Now I'm gonna talk about the setup and the design of the instrument. And before I do that, I wanna give a shout out once again to my friend Carissa, who you'll be seeing in all of these B-roll shots because she helped me build the instrument, she helped me film the sound test and also a lot of the B-roll that you're seeing in this video so shout out to my friend Carissa you can check out all of her links in the description below she's also a percussionist she's the general manager of Marimba Fest and she also has a really cool baking brand you can check it out baked by Carissa in the description down below okay so here's everything that you get in the box you can see the parts of the frame you got the frame ends powder coated gas lift 
gas lift and you also have all of the parts of the frame that join together and you'll notice that it's actually pretty much the same as the One Vibes frame. Now you'd be thinking, Adam, that's a very small instrument compared to a Ford and Third Octave. Well, obviously they've just scaled up the One Vibes design. You've got very similar turning knobs, so no fancy wave flocks, no fancy drop-in sections like you do have on the Izzy. All of the knobs are really easy to turn. The resonators look awesome in all black and yeah, you just slot them in exactly the same way you install any other marimba one instrument. I've played on a lot of marimbas and contrary to popular belief I do actually like marimbas other than marimba one as well but I think marimba one has the best installation process of all of them. It's so easy to assemble and disassemble them because everything just just works. Brilliant! Amazing! Why don't other manufacturers have this? <laughs> but what I like is that Marim One has kept all of their fancy features like the gas lift and just easy installation and all those small details I was mentioning but just in like a reduced more bare bones package and it does the same thing and it will please 99% of people who are using this instrument and it's a very good frame. I think it's probably the best in class. Other design features, you've got the laser engraved Marim One logo on the front, one of my favorite touches of the instrument. It just looks so much better and I really like this powder coated black finish that you see on the sides of the frame that you see on the resonators it feels really nice and it looks at home wherever you put it whether it's in a studio like this whether it's in your house whether it's on stage in a massive auditorium if there's one thing that I really don't like in marimbas it's gold resonators <laughs> I think gold resonators look really dated and the only time they look right is on older instruments when you have like brand new instruments with gold resonators Nah. <laughs> Do you get the Marimba One gas lift? Once again, one of my favorite gas lifts of all time with the numbers on the side, the same numbers across all Marimba One instruments. It makes things so much easier. It stays up on its own, so you don't need to push it up with one hand and hold it with the other. It's very easy to use. I do receive a few messages asking me sometimes whether the gas lift dies over time. Uh, I've had this instrument for six years now almost, and it hasn't died at all. Sometimes you just need to tighten the lock a little bit, but that's that's fine, you can make it as tight as you want. And yeah, the signature Marimba One wave pattern on the front looks really pretty, and the Padauk bars look really nice as well with that reddish tone. It's just a really, really pretty instrument. And yeah, if I didn't already have an Izzy, I would probably buy one. Now, the best way to figure out whether or not an instrument is good is to hear how it sounds. So we're gonna proceed to the sound test, but if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And yes, I wanna give a shout out once again to my friend Carissa, who, like I said in the previous video, had to hold up my phone like this while I was playing the sound test because I forgot to bring my tripod, I don't have a memory card for my camera, it was just really messy but thanks to Carissa's steady hands we have this sound test video so here's the sound test.
So yes, that is the sound test. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this marimba. And once again, if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video so far. Now, I mentioned this in the previous video, back at Marimba Fest, the festival that we had a couple of weeks ago where we showcased this instrument, people actually wanted to use, like they actually went out of their way to choose this four and a third octave educational instrument over marimba one izzy's we had two marimba one izzy's one of them was mine and people actually said i want to use this four and a third octave paduk instrument and when i heard this instrument in a nicer acoustic in the auditorium i could actually hear the projection quite well it speaks so well it responds really well to different ballads of course it still has that paduk sound you know the paduk sound we're all familiar with and it's not as warm as rosal but i mean for the price, it's pretty good. And I'm really glad because when I wanted to recommend a marimba to my younger students, a Paduk 4 and a 3rd instrument, I only had not very good options. Every option I could think of, they always had some sort of flaw. For example, this instrument, yeah, the frame, nah, it's just, it's just really bad. Well, this instrument, which used to be one of my favorite picks for this kind of category, but the bars are not graduated. They're also painted, which I don't understand. And also it's a very heavy instrument for what it is. And the price has been going up a lot recently, so. Nah. So yeah, I'm really pleased this marimba exists and thank you to Marimba1 for sending it to me. I really appreciate having new things to try all the time. And if you want to see more about the marimba, all the info is in the description down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Please leave down in the comments below any suggestions of anything you'd like to see on the show or anything you'd like me to take a look at. I'll be going back to some more Let's Watch content as well as releasing some brand new pieces over the next couple of weeks. One of them is Sunflower, my brand new 4 and a third octave marimba solo and I've got a few other pieces that I'm really excited to drop before the end of 2021. This is just such a crazy time here in the studio and I'm really happy to have all of you guys on board. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button below to keep up my uploads. Do so now because it's a really exciting time and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. <laughs>